I'd like to talk to you about the timeline for Google Ads success, um, updated for Performance Max. First, egg on my face, because um, if you're anywhere on our website or anywhere on our, our video properties, you'll see uh, is a ubiquitous truth, 90 days. And we've been saying this for years, and it's been true for almost a decade. For almost a decade, we've been able to say um, it takes 90 days to prove concept. At the end of 90 days, I'll be able to give you a feasible cost per acquisition. At the end of 90 days, I'll know where your baseline ROAS is, and then we can optimize up or down from there. Um, 90 days was the rule of law and it had to do with a lot of, you know, just in, interesting intersections of data, but, um, 90 days from campaign launch, we knew more or less, right? We knew if it was going to be successful, it wasn't necessarily true in the black. Um, but it, it, it was pretty binary because of the introduction of performance max, what it is and how it works. 90 days is now no longer the timeline. Here's what's worse. You ready for the worst sales pitch ever? There's no timeline. We have no idea. I'll explain why. Um, with other campaign types, you were testing a single campaign type in a single channel, even if there were other channels on the periphery. You know, if you're running e-commerce, you're testing smart shopping. If you're running lead generation, you're testing search. And I know there's a bunch of other things that come into play. It's like, oh, we're running dynamic marketing and DSA. And it's like, well, we're, we're going straight down the center of the lane, number one. So you're at the extreme bottom of the funnel. So we're going after purchase intent traffic that's already ready to buy. Performance Max is, is now lifting itself out of the bottom of the funnel. So now it's an entire path to purchase that we have to measure. And let me just back up. That path to purchase means that it's going to take longer for a person from at the top of the funnel to get down to the bottom of the funnel. So you have to account for the increase in time there. And multiply that by as many new channels as we're advertising on. Because in Performance Max... It's like, oh, we launched a YouTube campaign and we launched a display campaign and we launched a search campaign and we lost a Discover campaign and we lost a Gmail campaign and we launched a Maps campaign. You know what I mean? Like you're running all of these campaign types. So, and you're using the same budget that you were using previously in those in the one campaign type to now launch all of these. It's going to take longer. Here's where it gets worse. Google, this is Google slide deck, by the way. Um, Google wants four to six weeks. It is best practice to activate performance max campaigns and wait at least four to six weeks before evaluating results and making changes. Now, this number keeps changing. It's a moving target. It started at four weeks in their original slide deck. It's six weeks now. Um, I've seen 45 days, which is more or less aligned with what it is that we're talking about, but four to six weeks. We're saying six weeks to our clients. Build a performance max campaign and watch it for six weeks. And, and you're like, I'm going to pay you to build a performance max campaign and watch it for six weeks. Yes, you are. Because you still need to watch it. You still need to watch it, analyze what's happening, look at the campaigns that do exist on the periphery. Those campaigns might end up needing changes. You might need CRO. So it's not that no work is being done. It's that you're not optimizing this campaign because it has to learn. It's also why our, 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 our uh, minimum spend threshold went up so significantly. We used to take our minimum used to be three grand a month. Oh, if you got three grand a month, we can run campaigns for you. Three went to 10. And it's because we're now spreading this same amount of money across multiple other channels. So now we have to work with somebody that has 10 grand a month or more. The only clients we work with that are sub 10 grand a month are in our incubator program. But other than that, 10 grand is the minimum. And it takes four to six weeks, not to prove concept, mind you, just to start watching it and see what it's going to do from there. So you're going to give it four to six weeks to learn. And now it comes to you and says, okay, great. I'm ready to show you what you got. And now, you know, day six week in a day is day one. And now we're going to view the way that Performance Max functions. Google has this pre and post period graphic that I kind of don't like this, to be honest with you, because I think that this, this doesn't fully articulate exactly the point that we're trying to get across. But what's helpful for me is the fact that Google even created it. Here's Google's slide saying, here's how to evaluate Performance Max. And what they're asking for is a full range of, of timeline for your non-Performance Max campaigns, let's say. Um, and then implementation period, ramp up period, and then a comparison timeline. So the, the point that Google's trying to make is don't use the ramp up period in the timeline. The ramp up period isn't meant to be compared. It's where performance max goes to learn. So you've got a machine learning algorithm that's going to spend six weeks learning, and then it's going to come back and say, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. And then the race begins. And here's what's interesting. This is why the 90 day narrative is no longer applicable because from that point, we don't know what happens. It's so heavily dependent upon your industry, your competitive market, your geography, your product, your selling proposition, your budget, where we are seasonally speaking, especially if there's cyclical models uh, uh, to your business. So 
all this to say, we don't have the 90 day narrative anymore. If you've heard me say 90 days, I'm so sorry. That was an old video. That's old content. It's no longer 90 days because it can't be because of the way that performance max works. It takes three weeks to learn. Here's what's really funny too is from an optimization perspective, it takes two to three weeks after you've made any changes. So it's, it's this crazy, hurry up, wait, hurry up, wait, hurry up, wait. So we're doing these great big, big heavy lifts and then we're waiting. Um, here's what's really interesting too. That two to three week timeline keeps changing as well. But if you notice Google's documentation right now says uh, the learning process takes one to two weeks. Google tells us when we're talking to their advanced teams, two to three weeks. So there's a lot of inconsistency in the language that's being pushed across to Google. And I think it's because this thing is new. They're figuring out how to use it the way that we're figuring out how to use it. So 90 days is no longer the rule of thumb. There is no rule of thumb because it's going to depend heavily on your business. Here's what you need to be comfortable with is investing in the marketing of your business. My established brands, this is easy for you because you already do it. Um, and by the way, this is not a new sales pitch. This is not unheard of. This is the way that we used to sell radio, television, and newspaper. I say we as though I was a part of that. But um, old school advertising media agencies would talk about the year or two that it took people before you really had met market saturation and built an awareness and whatever. I don't know what words they used. Um, we've gone back to that a little bit. It's still algorithmic. It's, it's machine learning based. It's goal driven. So it's not radio, television, newspaper. But what I'm saying is we've all bought these timelines before. The business world operated off of these timelines. We're, we're just headed back to some of those old timelines. And I guess I'm trying to justify the fact that we don't know. We don't know. Um, and by the way, there are e-com brands that perform within the four to six weeks right out of the gate, especially if you've been running Google in the past. So if you've been running Google ads, you're successful with smart shopping, um, performance max can, doesn't always, but can pick up right where you left off without skipping a beat and not perform everything that you got with very little learning. Or it takes time. I got off the phone with a gentleman this morning, his campaigns failed. And we ran them for four months um, before we finally said, hey, we have to pull the plug. And then he called me and said, hey, why'd you pull the plug? Like he was, he was willing to keep going. He was, he was interested in investing in his brand and he believed in what we were doing. And I told him, I said, we just kept stopping three feet from gold. And every time I looked at the campaign, it looked like we were gonna make it. And, but then I'd look at the competition and the competition was growing as fast as the campaign was improving. And it felt to me like he was in an industry where a snake was eating its own tail. And I see that a lot. I see industries where like a manufacturer of a product goes out and then teaches other people how to sell the product, kind of like an MLM world, because it's, it's honestly kind of brilliant. It's the fastest way for them to create multiple, you know, um, vendors, let's say, or, or people selling their, you know, without them going at risk for traffic. Um, that's what it, uh, you've seen this in t-shirt printing uh, quite a bit. Um, but anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is we went four weeks and every, or four months, excuse me, and every month it looked like right there, but then the goal line would move and the goal line would move and the goal line would move. It's a, it's a muddy hill that you're trying to climb. And we don't know, as hard as you're working, I used to tell my SEO clients this all the time. Nobody can guarantee the top half of the first page because it's content and links, quality content and links. Well, you might be creating a ton of quality content and a ton of links. But it's not as though your competition is is frozen. What if, and, and that's what SEOs do, is they're like, oh, this is how many links uh, that your competition has, and this is you know how many power pages. All we need to do is build one more power page and 10 more links than anybody else has, and, and we'll be golden. Well, what if they're all building power pages and links at the same time? Then you're going to go do your competitive analysis again next month, and the landscape has changed. That's what happens inside of paid ads. And performance makes, makes it so much more complex because there's so many more channels to go after. So here's the thing. I could lie to you, right? Like, and that's what I think a lot of ad agencies are going to do is they're going to come up with some soundbite to get you on their client slate and keep you until you churn. Because the average agency retention rate is six months. It's four to six months. Six months is top side, high end. That's a HubSpot statistic, by the way. I wonder if that's still true. I think it was published in 2020. Regardless, the average agency retention rate was four to six months. Our average retention rate is 14 months. And it's because we tell people the truth. So I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to abdicate responsibility, but this is the truth. We don't know, and there's no way to know. And anybody who tells you otherwise is lying. Now, hopefully, God willing, we end up in a position where as we learn more about Performance Max over time, we are able to offer benchmarks. I think they're going to be industry specific. 
I think it's going to be like, oh, in the consumable e-com space, in the B2B SaaS space, whatever. Um, but for right now, 90 days isn't the timeline. It takes 45 days, 46 weeks just to get the damn thing running before we can start looking at it. And then every time we make a major optimization, we have to wait two to three weeks. So be in my shoes here a little bit and realize there's no way for us to, to put an adequate timeline into it. If you really believe in your brand, um, and that's the key here, Performance Max is hard from an R&D perspective. Uh, for established companies with established value propositions and people who are already buying your stuff, Pmax makes all the sense in the world. It's like, hey, Google, we already know that this, this customer already buys this product or service. Great. Easy. We'll just go out and figure out the path to purchase there. And it'll take some time. We don't know how long time, but we know that it'll happen because we know that it happens organically. But if you don't know that, if you don't know who your audience is, or you don't know if this audience buys this product or service, Performance Max is going to be an expensive test. Um, so that's, you know, it's just worth, it's worth being aware of that. Anyway, I hope I haven't been too aggressive in my language. I, and it's not that we don't want to work with people. We absolutely do, but we want to work with people that are going in eyes wide open and, and understand the risks. So 90 days is no longer the narrative. We don't know what the narrative is and we'll get a better sense of that as we move forward. I guess what I, what I should say in closing, closing is after the learning period, after the four to six weeks, we should see a trend line that we like. Right? Like we should see it heading in the right direction after the four to six weeks. When it's learning, by the way, it's bouncing all over the damn place. It's, it's amazing to watch a machine learn. It's actually, it truly is amazing to watch a machine learn. Um, so after the four to six weeks, we should begin to see a trend line that we're comfortable investing in. Um, and, and how long it takes to build that trend line really depends on your business. If you're a medical device sales company, you have an 18-month sales cycle, well, it'll take some time, right? But if you're selling AirPods, well, we can probably get that pretty quick. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, before you go, I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the Solutions 8 team. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day, and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.